Thanks for joining us on this episode of Dokkan Battle. Starring Ape Ape Ape. ape. Yeah, strike Ape Ape Ape. And your friends, the Captain Mew Mew Force. It's called Ginyu Force. Starring what then, he said. I um, prefer the, the the Mew Mew for, Force. This guy right here was originally a Goku that was used to fight Broly, but because of the way the game works, they've basically advanced him to the point where he's no longer even in a form that ever fought Broly, but he can still fight Broly. So okay. I decided to use a team of basically, uh, let's call them what they are, kind of garbage units. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to use these garbage to take out the ultimate garbage, which is Broly. I have about a, there's a, I'll be fair to Broly, there's about a 50% chance that I'm going to die. Did I die? No. Okay, I lied. You know, every time we do a video with you, yes. I watch this game, and every time I think, oh, I understand it, and every time I realize, I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh... While we have this little pause between the fight here, yeah. let me uh, let me take this moment to thank our sponsors from KFC. Five dollar fill-up boxes, they're mm -mm good. Yeah, yes, it's true. We are Broly's about to go ape on me. I hate that it's one a.m. because I really want some KFC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By the way, we're also recording this late as fuck at night. That's an entire. Have you guys ever eaten on the toilet? <sighs> I, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised because I remember having this conversation with you once. And you were totally eating like a bag of Doritos or some shit. Me? <laughs> I think it was you. No. <laughs> you just accused him I mean... of some real hated shit. By the way, I think I might. <laughs> I think I'm about to win. You're in for a real treat. This is the part of the game where I need full concentration. Because we're about to enter a Dokkan mode. So everybody's <laughs> While well, we enter Dokkan mode, let me take this extra moment <laughs> to talk about... <laughs> <laughs> right, let's talk about our sponsor. Who, who are we talking about now? Which sponsor? We're, we're talking about KOC again now. Oh. Ooh, I did it! <laughs> now we see my... We did it. What the it. fuck does that word mean? Is that, is that what it means? Yeah, it means we did it. Good job, you learned nothing from Dorothy Explorer. <laughs> Hello everyone, are you ready for another fucking adventure? I'm here with the Mew Mew Force members, Jace. Hello. And Captain Soldier 76. Hola. And we're here for another video EZA, where this time this is the second video we ever did. It is a EZA of the video, which I believe it's called... Super Saiyan 3 Burning Fight Angel Goku vs. Broly, K sponsored by KFC. <laughs> and uh, the only difference in team in this one is that we'll be using uh, the Go Bros. And uh, we'll be fighting the new Broly, the um, the good Broly, not the bad Broly. It's funny that we do this right before Japan's about to get the new LR Broly event, but whatever, I don't care. We're going to be fighting old uh, new Broly. Because we don't have a time, we don't have two weeks time to get back together and record for that video. Anyway, uh, this is the second video we ever did, which is, uh, this is the, where the term Yu Mew Force came in, and this is also the continuation of, um, Raycoom's long ass rant where he tried to say, hello, hello everyone, welcome to another podcast, and then I go, it's a fucking video, and then he continues on regardless. <laughs> Man, that doesn't feel like it was that long ago, but I guess it was that long ago. It really doesn't feel like it was that long ago. I know. It's, uh... It, it's, uh... Time is a weird thing, man. It just keeps on going forward and never stopping for anything. <laughs> and it makes it extremely scary. Uh... But it's alright, because look, look how much we've improved. Now, uh, even though I say that, even though the last video I had to re-record that last fight, <laughs> because it fucked up at the end, we're still doing pretty good overall. Um, you know that we've been working on an unnamed project for almost six years? That is correct. We have been working on unnamed project for a long-ass time. Uh, to be fair, unnamed project got some unfortunate hurdles in me losing my house. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, was, and all of us, you know, having to be adults and focus on uh, 
on our jobs and whatnot. Yeah, it's true. But the the thing that's always uh, it's funny because um, I will say I thought we were going to talk a lot about KFC, but this is what we're going into now. Is that uh, <laughs> <laughs> is that I remember back when uh, Get Out was getting out, how he said that uh, he had been holding on to that script for an extremely long time. And he'd always just been improving it on the side. But the idea of just like, you don't have to just get it all done now. You can keep working on something and improving on it. And then when it's released, it will be, you know, hopefully if you've been working on it good enough and it comes out and it resonates with people, then you'll get something like Get Out where it's like, holy shit, I can't believe that this person could do it. And it's like, I could do it. It just took a lot of time of me actually getting shit ready for uh, (laughs) for it to be done. It's like you're just like you're just stockpiling good ideas and and work, just like keeping it away for for winter, and then all of a sudden we'll debut it and people will lose their shit. Exactly, and that's the dream. That's the hope for one day uh, for it to happen. And I would love for it to happen. And I would love for one day for people to realize, like, yo, he doesn't just make weird Dokkan videos. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, if you want to see more of Unnamed Project, uh, support us on Patreon. You can find, yes. you, find us at Mimi Force at Patreon.com. Hey, you know what? Speaking of Patreon, what if I we started to... a Patreon and just, just like start I working? Swear on... to God, <laughs> I swear to God, we already had this conversation in another video. Did we? Which I can... we, yes. we? did. Yes, there, there was a video <laughs> where I think you said specifically, follow, donate to our PayPal. There's a lot of old videos of you going. Uh, I want you to hit that like button and then also donate to our PayPal. And... <laughs> I remember specifically asking about, like, what do we even do? Like, what do we, how does it work? And you're like, we could set the tiers ourselves and we decide. And you said something for, like, or like, for the price of $5, you could get a personal voicemail from Captain Ginyu76. Yes, you to there have was a, good a day. video. Or, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck would want that? Wait, fuck you! Would that? Oh, fuck you! I right? <laughs> what a fucking hater! Listen, for the price of five dollars, Jace will package himself some finger licking sauce to send to you, and you can finally try that delicious sauce. That taste, the taste of sauce. By the way, Super Saiyan Three Angel Goku not looking good. He's getting his <laughs> ass rocked. <laughs> If it wasn't for the other Super Saiyan 3 Goku that I added to this team, then this motherfucker would have cost us the fight a long time ago. Oh wow, you're actually gonna hear the... This is this is uh, unprecedented, but this is actually the only time someone's actually gonna activate the, uh, the ability for the LR Gobros. And I don't have sound on, so that really sucks, but it's funny that it got activated. Uh, Dokkan added voices to uh, special some special characters, and if you get their abilities to activate, you get like a special sound clip. Uh, also, with the, the Broly coming in, they actually have voice for the Broly. In Global, they didn't have any uh, voices for the, bro- glo- for the Broly, but for Japan, they do. Oh, sick. Yeah, which is pretty funny uh, for a variety of reasons. Uh, uh, now, here's my question. I don't think this Goku is going to survive much longer. <laughs> He's getting. So I'm going to put uh, the other Super Saiyan 3 in the front and then deal with it on that way. Uh, anyway, as we were talking about, let's talk about more about our Patreon rewards. Uh, Finger Looking Good Sauce, uh, special voice recording from Captain Soldier 76. He'll, he'll say, like, what up, Big Sexy, or whatever you want him to say. <laughs> <laughs> so that is something. That my brother would definitely say. <laughs> what a big sexy. <laughs> also, we, about- will t- we will send you some official uh, Ginyu Force used uh, black underpants as worn by uh, Ginyu himself and Jace. And who else doesn't wear pants in the Force? I think no one else. No one wears pants in the Ginyu Force. Also, I lost. <laughs> I died. <laughs> <laughs> Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku fucking sucks ass so there's no way for him to beat this Broly Raku wears like a shorts, shorts. shorts yeah <laughs> he wears a romper 
Uh, and with that, that's a, that's the end of a e video easy game. We lost in that fight, so technically speaking, the difference is that the the event was so strong that it actually could not handle. You know what was the problem with Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku in that fight? He did not have enough sponsorship from KFC. I feel like if he had the power, the finger looking good sauce, he would have been able to win. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Well, join us next time for another video with my good old buddies and Mew Mew for us. Say goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.